Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in once again for another run and I will just preface this episode by saying that I've changed my microphone setup a little bit. I've moved the mic much, much closer to my face um, so that for one, I'm louder, which hopefully is nice, but also it means that now that I'm louder, I can change my noise gate, which means that you shouldn't hear background noise or my keyboard sounds anywhere near as much as before. And also my microphone is now further away from my keyboard and my keyboard is behind my microphone, which would help a lot because uh, it's omnidirectional. But either way, Hope you guys like it, let me know, hopefully it's not any worse, I don't think it should be, but anyways, let's jump into another run here. I did randomise Lilith um, I, before this episode because I started recording and I messed it up a little bit, so why not just carry on playing as Lilith? I have also done quite a bit to try and solve our issues of lag. Our lag was getting kind of out of hand, as, as I said I tried recording earlier and uh, kind of messed it up, uh, and it was really, 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 really laggy, um, and I figured out, I, I did quite a bit of testing, and I figured out that character mods are a huge drain. Like, I don't know why, but character mods are hella laggy, so what I've done is, I've disabled any character mod that doesn't have unlocks, or that I didn't have a lot of the unlocks unlocks of, um, and we're going to re-enable them if they come up in the randomizer, or if I just haven't played them in a while. So at the minute, um, things like the Hollow, Henry, Deleted are all disabled because they don't have unlocks, uh, and they'll just get re-enabled when we want to play them. Um, and the Epiphany mod has been disabled as well, because we don't play those characters too often, um, and they, they don't have a ton of unlocks, um, so they're disabled for now. Uh, and we'll just re-enable them as and when we want to play them. And the game is running so much better. And we actually get um, Sack Dagger right off the bat, which is a familiar. So, not a bad one to get. Uh, used to be an absolute god-tier item. Uh, it's now pretty good. Oh, dude. That poop absolutely screwed me then. I tried to walk and it sort of walked me around the poop. But yes, we are jumping in. Uh, I'll, I'll pop this here. Mainly for the sack daggers more than anything. It's still really, really, really good. It just used to be even better. It used to move slower. Or was it quicker? I can't remember. It used to move at a different speed, but also have a lot more damage. They changed uh, the damage tick uh, tick rate of all orbitals. So it made them all a lot worse. This is a um, size down, right? No, speed up. thought it was going to be a size down, because uh, those guys were small boys. But I guess it doesn't work that way. Oh, dude, come on now. I need to stop walking into things. But I don't know if you can tell already, but the, uh, the game is running significantly, and I mean significantly better. Like a, a solid like 10 to 15 frames better than it used to be. And I am so happy because, oh my god, it was... The, the last run that I tried to do, I had to scrap a recording. Like I said, it kind of messed up the recording because it was... Do you know what? I should just kill myself. I'm just like running into enemies and killing myself. There you go. Look, do it again and again. One more time, one more time. For the killing of the of the 10 kills, 10 win streak. Ooh, that's a soul heart. Good. Let's try and not use our orbitals all too much this time around. I'm also going to quickly scoot an Annie back and try and find a secret room real quick. Uh, very easily could be there. Um, I'm actually... Ooh, 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 ooh. You motherfucker, what? Why did that troll bomb explode in like 0.1 of a second? I know they have like a, a variance to them, but that was a little bit fucking ridiculous. Okay, not there. Sadly, we lost that soul heart that I was planning on using to save me, but... Hey, her, guess not. Um, here, I think, then, I guess. Yeah, there you go. And we get an air was. Ooh, this is kind of tricky. Um, because we don't have bombs to get the other air wases. I guess we'll just use the uh the one air was here. Right, let's play it safe because we're on a nine win streak right now. And this car, oh, this is annoying because now this is gonna want HP and I can't afford to trade it away. Oh, there's car battery there as well. There's mother's love. Oh, this is so frustrating. If if I hadn't a lost that soul heart to that goddamn troll bomb, I would be in an absolutely dreamy position right now. Because Mother's Love as this character is god tier good. Um, I've got to try and figure out a way that I can get HP back here, but I don't think there is a way, is there? I'm I'm genuinely really fucking upset that that troll bomb exploded in like point one of a second. That was like the quick troll bomb explosion ever as well. I'm like, I'm so annoyed. I don't think there's any way in which I can get um, anything from this. There's no soul heart to purchase, if, even if I had the money. Uh, I guess I could get a soul heart from a fire randomly if I get really lucky, but not happening, I don't think. I guess I could get a soul heart from one of these. I'm really, I'm really miffed. 
Mother's Love is such a goddamn good item. So is Car Battery. Car Battery on Mother's Love would have both been absolutely fantastic. And it's stolen away from me by my own idiocy, mainly, taking too much damage using Sack Dagger. That was the main reason. But then losing that Soul Heart, I feel, was not particularly my fault. Uh, anyways, we just go down to the next floor. Feeling upsetty, spaghetti, depressy. Very upsetty, de depressy to spaghetti. Wait, did we even go to our item room that floor? Oh no, of course we could. We got Sack Dagger. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. This man has... I am absolutely gaming right now, playing Isaac to the best of my abilities here. Boy's about to lose a 10 win streak to this nonsense. I'm so stressed right now. I can't, I'm so annoyed at myself. That 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 crawl space was god tier good, so goddamn good. Even just taking car battery would have been a big win. Um, this is awful. I hate this. Okay, that that was scary. Oh shit, this is a combat room as well. Sack dagger using it to block shots there. Still very, very scared here. This guy chases me as well. Don't like that. Stop firing stuff at me. I don't deserve this type of abuse. Oh my god. We ha we ha this That could save us right now, but we have to save it to make it into a soul heart, I think. Even though we could die. And I'm going to look real foolish if I do die. Real goddamn foolish. Also, don't try and melee this guy with our sack daggers because he bounces like a madman and it'll get us killed. Melee the tiniest versions of him, but not the, the big one. It would kill him very fast, but we will get hit if we do it. Just remember to keep our distance as well because when they, when they split, they explode in all sorts of directions and it's scary. Of course, we get shoe. Ooh, a bomb. That would have been great before when we had all those air wasses. Ooh. Ooh, 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 baby. A saving grace. Little bit late. Could have done with that last floor. Still, I am happy. And also, goddamn. Uh, this game feels so good when it's not lagging like absolute crazy. Goddamn, I f it feels so good, man. I, f I forgot. It's, it feels like the game's a new goddamn game. It's... It's, it really is something quite beautiful. I am I am using Sack Dagger way too aggressively right now, but you cannot stop me. I tried it on that guy, but couldn't quite get it to hit. Hey, secret room there, baby. I'm trapped. Ooh. Good, good, good. I like that a lot. Really good item. And we get some HP back as well. Dice shard, rather lovely. Uh, don't want to reroll my trinket though. Right, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving along now. Oh, mother's love. I don't know what would have been better to be honest. Car battery is really good for our active, but mother's love would just give us a lot of stats and make our active better. Don't care if I lose some health to this guy. I'm killing him as fast as I possibly can. I lost one soul heart to him. I don't care. Got some HP out of him here as well. I'll take that and we'll skip down to the next floor. I don't want y'all devil deal. Right. Let's keep going. We need to be searching around for the future floor on the caves here. We still haven't seen it yet. I did actually ask the developer if there was a, there was a way to force spawn it, and they did give me a, a way to force spawn it. Unfortunately for me, though, I don't know. Apparently, there's some mod that I have that is potentially incompatible with the, the command, and it just crashed my game, so <laughs> we can't use that for now, but that is not something that I would expect to be a problem for most people, and most people aren't going to want to force spawn it anyways, so do not judge the mod by this freak error. It is not representative. I'm excited to see it because, oh my god, it's just, it looks so cool. We're just going to be looking around for a little Steven-looking type room on these floors, apparently.
Good. Mini Isaac helping out a nice amount. I love the fact that the dagger blocks shots as well, so then you can kill enemies like that that are uh, exploding to shots. And you're still safe, because it just like stops all the shots from exploding outwards. I see that tinted rock back there, by the way. I will uh, make sure we get that destroyed when we can. Dude, that was so clutch of those guys. That that guy managed to butter bean me away, while this guy managed to jump out of the way of my knife. Right, so quickly do this. Go back up here. Grab this. Back up here. Come over here. Pop this down. Drop that down. Squeezy. Okay, the health is kind of mocking me now. It's Kingpin, the absolute bastard himself. Oh my god, so much damage taken. I don't care. This is an XL floor as well. I don't care about the damage I'm taking. I will not stop using Sack Dagger. <laughs> I have learnt nothing. Really? No angel deal? That's very upsetting. Also, particularly bad boss items. Not happy about that either. I will never stop using Sack Dagger. Even on enemies that explode. Oh wait! I got another Inkia buddy from getting hit all the time. Oh baby. Y'all y'all thought you could judge me. Y'all thought you could judge me. But who who's the idiot now? Who's the person that doubled their DPS, baby, through exactly calculated methods of getting hit? Doubled his DPS. This is a story for the ages. Absolutely huge. You're gonna dive at me, but you're gonna die doing it. You guys, you, you guys are a little, little less safe to, uh, to kill with us with our knife. Oh, by the way, I haven't said question of the day today. Question of the day is just, um, who's the most recent person you spoke to that you don't live with and isn't just someone like at a shop? Like, who's a sort of friend or someone you know that you most recently spoke to? And to what was it about? It'd be interesting to hear. Um... I think that's just a, a nice basic question of the day. But something just came to mind here. I've been re-watching um, South Park recently, be like from, from the beginning. And one of the episodes that I forgot about that is absolutely my favourite. If you by the way, if you don't watch South Park, why not? You need to you need to find your funny burn and re uh, reattach it, because goddamn it's the best thing ever. It's stupid, but it's the best. Uh, and anyways, there's one of my favourite jokes that I completely forgot about. That I don't even think I found funny when I first heard it. But I found it fucking hilarious. There's this one episode where um, cats get, like, banned. Because people are using cat urine to get high. Um, and Kenny and, uh, as well as um, Kyle's dad are using it to get high. And whenever they get high, they end up going to this, like... It shows them that they're, that they're like, tripping out and they're, like... It's really strange. They like go on this weird trip where it's got like a completely different art style when they go into it, and it's like this thing where they're fighting for this big booby lady. It's it's very strange. I, I highly recommend taking a watch of it just because it's it's funny, but also the art style is really epic and um, the music is like so fucking good. Um, and there's boobs, but um, the uh, <laughs> they call it like the, the the act of getting high via the cat urine. They call it cheesing, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a bit where there's like, uh, the, the town's getting riled up about it because all the kids are doing it sort of thing. And there's like a news report telling parents to like, sort of be wary of it. And they're like, why? <laughs> they're talking about why it's called cheesing. And they're like, why do they call it cheesing? Because it's fun to do. <laughs> oh my god. It's just the dumbest pun. Fucking the fondue joke. Because it's fun to do. Fun to do. Oh my god. I, I just... It's the stupidest thing, but I found it so fucking funny. I'm sure me, my retelling of it didn't do it any justice, but oh my god. It made me laugh so much. Because it's fun to do. My god. Absolutely love that. So I've got a dice shard back over there. I took depression because, for one, why wouldn't you? Everyone wants depression. But also, uh, it is a familiar, so... 
it, it seems blasphemous to even to, to not take a familiar, even if it's a bad one on this character. Come on, explodey boys. You're being shit houses right now, aren't you? I guess that's worth it. Give me a freakazoid. Dark Arts with Sack Dagger is pretty darn good. Right, give me that dice shard. In case we come across another item room and it's poopy. Excuse me. Don't be stealing my shit, thank you. Did not appreciate. Good, good. What we got going on in here? Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, the capsules are good. Oh, look, look at that. That's exactly what you want as this character, but we already have it. Also, very much like this as an item. I actually really like it now it got, it's got a buff as well. It ma they've made it so that now you can um, see a few rooms ahead. I really like that. And that's a really good change for it. Good, good. We're all done in here, and that's going to give us two shot speeds, one fire rate. The fire rate's good. Shot speeds, not so much. I mean, I'll accept them, but not the most ideal. Oh my god, the game. It feels so smooth. What's going on? This is bizarre. It's looking like we didn't get the future flaw this time around here. See, now we got a spin down shard. Wait. No, we didn't. Where's the green key? Did we not? Oh, no, we got... We picked up the fucking red key. I'm a... Stupid. We don't have a spin down shard. My bad. Maybe it only spawned um, a red key. It's like one of those random things where you get one or the other. Haha. -ha. None of you, thank you. And you gave me a black heart as well. Beautiful. What the hell are these guys? These guys are new. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. They seem new. Uh, that's under the familiar. I'll take it. Shopping time. And that's just a genuinely really good item. Boy. So much health, this floor. And a pair thrower? I mean, pair thrower and dice shard are one in the same, pretty much. I guess I'll take the pair thrower. Sadly, we did not get the um, future floor, but we have one more floor to find it, so... Not all doom and gloom. We'll see it eventually. It's not super uncommon. Right, bosses. Let's come back to those. Like, navigating between rooms outside of combat, it's so fast. What the hell's going on? It's so fast. Right. Oh, wait, no. This is an XL mine, so we're not going to see the, um... We're not going to see the future flaw, because it's... It only appears in the mines, we got an XL mines. My bad. Oopsie-daisy. Um... One second. I've got to apparently type a random word into my console like banana and see what happens. One sec. Right. Excel we got another Excel flaw. Dude, this game's rude as shit. This is really kind of frustrating because... Um, we're missing out on angel deals here. We'll, uh, we'll keep our um, pair thrower for our angel deal. Let's 
try to at least. Damage is still low, but at least we've got two Incubuses helping us out. Don't like the slippies here, don't like the slippies. What we got going on in here? Ooh, oh, it's this room. This is well worth it, I think. Gonna have to push this guy over. Wow. Soul Heart and Eternal Heart. Some good stuff we got there. Some good stuff we got there. Pop one of these. Beautiful. Ah, oh, bugger, we got hit. No, thank you. We're all good? We are all good. That was a pretty damn good one, though, that. Why is there so many cards in all of our rooms? What the hell? We got Turfu for a room. I think someone unlock Turfu. I think Turfu's a challenge unlock. It's a pretty good item. Basically, it replaces all your items with Turfu, and you get a, a bunch of these Turfu warriors that are like meat boys. That are pretty crazy. Greediest boy in all the land. Steam sale as well. Why the hell not? I, I probably could have re Do you know what? I probably should have re-rolled Steam Sale with my Pair Thrower, considering we're in a secret room. That probably would have been far, far more beneficial to us. Or potentially far more beneficial. Because we've only got one more shop. My bad. My bad. I was too fixated on um, re-rolling our Angel deal. Oh my god. Hey, it rewarded me with a Soul Heart there. Burnt by the fire of my orange boy. Why why did I go in for the kill there? That's stupid. These enemies can be really frustrating sometimes, actually. Never really sort of noticed how fucking annoying they are. Die, fiend. Hey, a black heart as well. We're getting a lot of HP coming our way right now. Man, I love Gideon's Gaze. It's such a damn good item. Cracker Jacks. Good for another HP up. And here. Gideon's Gaze again? It's weird, because it didn't... There wasn't any grimaces in this room, was there? Not that I noticed. Right. Back down and try and get all the uh, random shizite that's traipsing around this place. Can't believe we've got double XL floor back to back. That's just not on. What, what are we doing? Uh, we, we can do a uh, dark path or light path here and be successful. Four rooms with cards in a row. Another black heart. Dude, they're so valuable. Snack Dagger still treating us right. Good, good. Not it? Oh, the fly. I see you there. Didn't see you before, but I got you now. Right, yeah, we missed out on both of our item rooms. We've got to head back over and get those. Like I said, we got a pair throw just in case one of our item rooms is really bad, but I'd rather see, save it for my angel. It'd have to be a really bad item for me to want to do it. For me to not save it is what, what I mean. Sack dagger. God damn, it's good. This guy's going to explode into a big cross pattern, isn't he? Yep. Beautiful. Sack Dagger once again coming in clutch. Do you know what? Uh, no, I was going to bomb my way out of this room. I was tempted, but not actually worth it, I don't think. Yeah. 
yeah, it was a pretty easy room, to be honest. Red chest with some spiders. Oh, baby. Amazing. Just think how much better this run would be if we had Mother's Love right now. We have so much HP as well. Damn frustrating is what it is. Damn frustrating. Kill him before he turns around, please. Go. See what rune this is. It's another pair thrower. Okay. So we have a second pair thrower anyways here. That's really good to know. Okay, we're, sat we're starting to be able to see our item rooms now as well. Oh, we lost. I just realized we lost an Eternal Heart. To be honest, it's not like I need it. We've got so much health right now, and we're not we're not doing Devil Deals either, so even less reason. Still, those are annoying to lose an Eternal Heart. We got little hippity hopper that keeps hippity hop the worst stop. So, Bucket of Light is a perfect pair for example. Hmm. I really need damage, but I despise this item. I absolutely hate this item with a burning passion. That's why I'm going to take it. This this is this is my uh, my new guillotine. I I hate this item so very much. It's so awful. But every single time I see it, I'm always in a dire situation where I really need the extra damage. I always feel like I'm in a situation where it's like, oh my god, that much damage could change my life. <laughs> Ooh, it is going to make uh, using uh, Sack Dagger a lot harder. I didn't think about that. Probably lo It's probably lowered our overall DPS, actually, because I can't really use Sack Dagger anymore. Or I can't use it effectively anymore, at least. Let's go and get the other pair through. Yeah, Bucket of Lard. Do not want the speed down. Didn't need the HP up. That 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 was an absolute dud of, a, of an item. So it was worth it to re-roll re it. And I think Brownie is better because we do need the damage. It's just the slip and, slip and sliding. If you don't get flight, is just tragic. It does it way, way too often. Um, Bell Clapper is damage. Soul Heart, we can't even... We, we don't even need. Item room is over here. Good. Little Spewer. We can get Mr. Me here for some reason. Oh, actually, Mr. Me. Give me that. Sack Altar. Sack Altar's a hard one because it's, it's fucking it's good, but if it gets rid of my uh, my babies, I'm going to be well depressed. I could get rid of Sack Dagger. Last spin down. Gamble. Gamba. It got rid of... I have literally no idea what it got rid of. But it gave me Mum's Knife. So I can't really be that mad. <laughs> what the fuck did it get rid of? I've still got Sack Dagger. I've still got Depression. I've still got the randomizing one. I have literally no idea what that got rid of. No idea. But it gave me Mum's Knife. So... Does anyone know what it got rid of? I'm so confused. That's good. That's good. Right, let's get out of this floor. Get our angel deal going. Keep it. I love the amount of knives we have in our possession. We have Mum's knife. We have that uh, that champion one, and we have the sack dagger. We have so many knives in our possession right now. Went the wrong way. My bad. Funny. At least I didn't get rid of, get rid of any of my incubi. Oop, one moment. Okay, let's continue onwards. Let's blast through this boss. We don't even need to use that active here. Oh, he spawned on top of the uh, cactus there and just took a ton of damage. That's pretty awesome. 
Um, do you know what? That's actually really good. We don't need our money anymore. We can get some good stuff here. Turns out when I thought we'd get some good stuff here, wasn't wasn't very right about that. We got a lot of luck, which is, I guess, nice, but I was hoping for at least one damage up in there. We got tears up in there. That's nice. Still, though, whatever. A lot of luck is nice. Oh god, our damage right now is spicy. Um, we'll take Polaroid. In here. Okay, we got a lot of choices here. Um, this one, Chimerism, is real goddamn good, but it's a bit too late for it. I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna pair through all of these. Now the question is. Do I want to do Mega Satan? Probably not. Let's just pair through them all. Uh, we got um, Immaculate Heart, which is awesome. Um, fire a tier that has a chance to shoot out nine ghost tiers that Herman on enemies applies knockback and grit. That's kind of interesting. Duplicates every familiar the player earns. Familiar grabs will also be duplicated. Yes, please. There you go, baby. That's... That's very nice. <laughs> we have four of these as of base. That's that's quite spicy. I'm I'm very much loving this run right now. Very much loving this run. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, I'm very glad I went for the full reroll. And immaculate heart, really good grab as well. Four knives, baby. Four knives. Our active ain't shit no more. <laughs> Our active doesn't mean nothing. Um, wait, what? I used my active and it's lowered the amount of guys that I have from four to one. Is that a, like, bad? Please say they're not all gone now. Wait, oh, what? Okay, that has, that. That's that's problematic. So if I use this here, is this something to do with my familiar limit? Have I like hit my limit or something? Ah, now I can't shoot. Now I don't have the ability to shoot. Something's going on with the familiar limit here. This uh, this item's a bit broken. What the hell? You see that big puff of smoke? That's the game trying to like calculate how many familiars I should have. And it's 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 doing it wrong sometimes. Okay, so this is kind of sucky. What what was that item I just got called? I don't remember. Hmm, this is confusing. But I uh I broke it. I shouldn't have used my active. I want to use my active. It, it, my active literally does nothing now. Now I only have one familiar again. Something peculiar has happened here. Now I've only got one sack dagger. My active has completely broken this item. What's this item called? One second. Okay, so the item is called Prosperity. If we do this, remove Pros... Prosperity, C962, C962. If we remove it, then let's go between rooms. So we've got our two back, and then if I give myself it again, does it unbreak? No, it's just, it's just broken. Like, for some reason, I don't know what it is. What familiar is it that's breaking the cap? Is it the Fiend Folio one? Let me try removing Fiend... Folio. Is that not the item that I have? Is it, is it called Friend Folio? We'll remove Friend Folio. Okay. Friend Folio breaks it for some reason. Something to do with Friend Folio just does not compute. I think basically what I think is happening with Friend Folio is it's classing every plausible familiar. As, as being earned by me at all times, 
meaning that when it tries to calculate how to give me new familiars, it just breaks. I'm also not going to use my active for now because I don't want it to take away my four knives. I think having adding one extra one isn't really going to help all that much anyways. The foibles of modding. My goodness. It is what it is. Okay, back we go. Boss time, nice. <laughs> this is so amazing. Oh my god, it's weird. This isn't an XL floor. I was so confused for a second there. Another angel deal. Good, good. Ah, unfortunately, the Bible. We're back to two again. Now we're back to four. Okay. The game is getting well confused right now. <laughs> Something about the way that this prosperity item works isn't as the game would originally intend by the seams of it. It, it. it seems like, yeah, that's it, it doesn't really work the way the game wants it to in terms of calculating familiars, and it's, it's definitely causing some issues. But yeah, love the Spelunker's hat for being able to know what rooms are dead ends. Like I was saying before how much I love that buff to the Spelunker's hat. Like, it's so nice to be able to, at a glance, know if I'm going down a dead end or not, or know if I'm about to. Dude. That's three goddamn black hearts there, wow. We're all black hearted up now. So yeah, we know this way is the dead end now. Sadly, that is not a shortcut card. I was hoping it just teleports to the boss, but sadly, it did not get so lucky. Right, back this way. Now we know that we, instead of left, we go right here. Ooh, we get an angel teleport and we get a holy mantle out of it. Wowee. Oh, goddamn, I'm kind of annoyed I didn't, um, didn't take the knife piece on the last floor now, because I didn't think we'd get the chance to go... go Angel deal, but now the game's throwing the chance at us. My bad, I guess. My bad, I guess. Oh, wait, what? Another room where I have no familiars. This is fat BS. <laughs> Some rooms it just gives me no familiars. <laughs> Very rude. As a character that can't shoot without them, that's not ideal. Most rooms it gives me all four. Every now and again it's like, nah. Okay, um... We want to just go straight up here. I suppose we could do this, but if it gives me no familiars again, I'm absolutely screwed. So let's just go straight up. Like, I, I can't risk that, because that would just be the most sort of difficult and lengthy fight ever. You got a teleport there, didn't you? You had to. Oh, we got some little brimstones now. Oh, which are taking over spots for my friends. Now I only have one... Yeah, the familiar limit with this item is completely broken. It's a really cool item, but it's completely broken with the, uh, the familiar limit. Doing things very, very wrong. See, now I've got four again, and only one little brim. But your familiar limit's supposed to be way higher than this, like way higher. So, this is not not working as it should be. Oh my god, just walk into everything, why don't I? It's okay, we've got another black heart in here. So yeah, each room we now have a random amount of, like this room, no familiars. This room, only some of the familiars. Last room... Tons of familiars, it's just all over the place. Absolutely all over the place right now. Not like we need them all, but still. If I use my active here, what happens? Yeah, I used my active and it removed familiars. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. I have to use Sack Dagger to deal damage at this point. What the hell, game? I'm getting scammed. Also, when did I get flight? 
Some of them are back. This is a confusing mess. A very confusing mess. Thank god we got Gideon's gears. We're so removing so much shit. Oh shit, that laser hurts us. Why did I think it didn't? It was stupid. Yeah, cool. How many knife has we got this time around? We got two. This time we got two. Good, good. We got through it. We got through it. Definitely not going void. Yeah, things are barked up real in a real weird way here. Oh, rune bag is a Lilith unlock. I did not know that. Another little brimstone. Now I just got four little brims. This is so strange. <laughs> this time, I just get four little brims. Four little brims is so much weaker than my normal setup, please. <laughs> my god, this is so funny. Trying to like merge them all into one brimstone beam is kind of difficult. Very satisfying when it happens. Actually using my black arts for damage there because it's taking too long. Stop taking familiars, you fool. Every time I take a familiar, it complicates things so much more. Oh, we, ha we have quite a lot of dudes going on here, but Big Big Chub is nowhere to be seen. He's gone. He was not long for this world, apparently. Oh, no knives this time, just... This is so boxed. That's a dead end there. I want to go this way. Just give us the knives. That's all we want. All we've ever wanted. <laughs> My god, stop just giving me little brim. Little brim is so much weaker. At least, I mean, four little brims is, is strong, but it's so much weaker than it would be otherwise. This item is so boxed. Oh, we got knifers this time. Good. It's a good room to get knifers because it's a lot of health there. Same with this one. Ow. Knife us again, yes. It's such, such, every room is a gamble right now. Every room is a gamble. Oh god, they get proper stuck on the iron blocks there, don't they? What the hell? Okay, luckily, we know we're going the right way here. You're doing your bombing. And you're dead. See, all that, all that theatrics when you just insta-died as soon as you hit second phase anyways. Could have done without. Only two knives this time. Do you know what it might be? It might be because Ca Ca uh, Cambion Conception, the familiars aren't actually in my item tracker, and so it's confusing the uh, Prosperity item into, like, how to duplicate them, because they are, they exist as familiars, but they don't exist as items, so it might be confusing it, like, really badly into what it's trying to spawn, and that might be where the issue's coming from.
That might be it. <gasps> did we get four knives this time? We did, we got four knives. Perfect fight for four knives. So many charge bars. Four knives and three little brims. Right. Finish you off. I don't really care about being hit here. Just And then just for laughs, let's use that space bar and see what happens. Not much. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Pretty fun run. I'll see you guys in the next one.